Hello everybody and welcome to the Mushroom Guide on Sneaky Sasquatch. And as you all know with the latest update, we just got a really awesome new scavenger hunt here that we're supposed to do. And in this scavenger hunt, we're supposed to find 29 mushrooms. And these ones are not really that difficult to find. It just takes quite a bit of time as you're gonna have to keep on walking about until you're gonna find them. And a lot of patience as well. All these mushrooms are gonna spawn in eventually, it's just a matter of time because these mushrooms are randomly spawning in specific locations. And showing you guys the exact locations for these mushrooms and where they're gonna spawn in, it's kinda impossible because there's quite a bit of locations. And me personally, even if I go ahead and roam around looking for them, it's really difficult to actually pinpoint the exact location of them. But hopefully this guide is gonna help you guys out a little bit, to at least try to understand where to look for these and uh, when to start looking for them. And that being said, in order to get the scavenger hunt started, all you gotta have to do first is of course make your way up the river, all the way to the mushroom hunter. And once you get to him and chat with him, he is gonna give you a mushroom guide that you're gonna have to use in order to of course kinda try to identify where these mushrooms are spawning in including of course some tools and a basket where you can go ahead and put all the mushrooms you can collect. Now there's not going to be a limit to how many mushrooms you can put, just collect as many as you want and uh, you're going to be fine. And I do suggest you start collecting as many as possible even if you got those mushrooms once or twice. Just because those extra mushrooms that you're going to give to the mushroom hunter are going to be worth a lot of coins and trust me, you want to sell them. Now, as we're watching at the guide here, you're also gonna be a progress bar on the left side. This one has four checkpoints, and if you do meet all these checkpoints, eventually you are gonna get yourself even more dynamite, and you do need all these dynamites in order to blow up all the walls around the map so that you can open up completely. And that being said, let's just start off with the first mushroom, which is gonna be the chanterelle mushroom. Now, this yellowish mushroom, this one is usually found around the camp absolutely everywhere. I even found this one at Sasquatch's house. All you gotta do is just walk around and it will spawn in randomly, even during the rainy days. So uh, don't even worry about finding this one. This one is definitely gonna come across you eventually. Alright, next up we got the Oyster Mushroom, and once again, this is a mushroom that's only gonna spawn on the trees. It's gonna be pretty easy to spawn because of its really white color on the trees because it's gonna have a lot of contrast. And again, similar to the previous one, this one's gonna be around everywhere, including the campground. Uh, just again, as I was saying, keep on running around and you are gonna spot it on the trees eventually. Mushroom number 3 is gonna be the Moral Mushroom, and this one's gonna have a really weird look to it, but pretty easy to spot if you're gonna walk around. And although this one is a 3 star mushroom, I did manage to find this mushroom quite a lot, and this one is also scattered absolutely everywhere, even outside the campground. So just roam around the place, look for mushrooms, and eventually this one is gonna pop up. Alright, so the next mushroom is gonna be the Shaggy May Mushroom, and this one is something that, although it shouldn't be that difficult to find because it only has one star, uh, me personally, I had quite a bit of difficulties finding this one because I had to walk around this specific area for quite a while, and I think so far I only found one of them. But that being said, if you're looking at the guide here, you're gonna see quite a few elements in the picture that are gonna kinda give it away, uh, which are a tree, a little bit of dirt, a fence and a light post. And this is kind of telling us that this light is usually spawning in the town or maybe the shopping strip. And that's exactly what I found it at the shopping strip on the side of the road. So uh, whatever you do, just keep on resetting the day, keep on making your way on the side of the road there and, and in the town, keep on walking about and uh, eventually you will spot it. Alright, the next mushroom is going to be the Vile Webcam Mushroom. And if you're looking at the guide, this one is going to show you something really specific. And I found this mushroom to only spawn in this location specifically compared to the rest of them. Uh, this mushroom right here is only going to spawn next to the apple trees. And in game right now, there are two current locations where at least I know of uh, apple trees. And one of them is going to be in the RV camp all the way to the top. And another one is going to be all the way to the dirt racetrack, right above the muscle truck. And all you gotta do is just make your way to these two locations each day in, until eventually this one is gonna pop up. Uh, this mushroom right here has actually been the last one that I found and I had quite a lot of difficulties finding it. Uh, what I suggest you guys do, just in case you're not being able to find it, just close the game, restart it, and then come back in and then keep on visiting these two areas. Hopefully that's gonna kinda reset the spawn rate and uh, eventually it is gonna show up for you. 
All right, next up, we got the purple coral mushroom. And judging by only the name here, we're going to know that this mushroom is going to be located in the island area. And me personally, I actually found this one on the Rich Duck Island. And again, I kind of looked for this one quite a lot. Uh, you have to reset the game and quite a lot and I keep on going to sleep, waking up and visiting that area until it is going to spawn in. But uh, eventually it is going to spawn in. And I have a feeling that this mushroom right here could definitely be found all around the island area. All you gotta do is just uh, have a little bit of patience and keep on looking. All right, and the next mushroom is gonna be the Chicken of the Woods mushroom. And if you're looking at the guide, once again, you are gonna notice that this mushroom right here is only gonna spawn on trees. And this particular mushroom right here is really easy to see just because of the contrast. The mushroom is gonna have this orangey look, but it's always gonna grow on these wide trees which we all know that these trees are going to be located uh, on the golf course. So just make your way on the golf course, keep on roaming around the golf course until eventually you're going to spot it. Next up, we got the Angel Wing Mushroom. And this one is just a one-star mushroom, pretty easy to find as you're seeing in the guide. Uh, this one's going to be in the grassy areas. So uh, whatever you do, just walk around in the campground maybe. I even found this one in the wintry area on a tree trunk. So uh, I guess it's just going to be a matter of time until you guys are going to find it. And similar with the previous one, the next one is going to be the Witch's Butter Mushroom. And again, this one has a yellowish color. It is a two-star mushroom, but it's pretty easy to find if you're looking through the winter area. Just make your way to the first level of the mountain and uh, keep on looking on the trees. That's all you gotta do. Next up, we got the Cauliflower Mushroom. And this one is pretty easy to find. It's only going to spawn in the island on trees. And make sure you keep on walking about on the side of the trees and uh, keep on looking behind trees as well. It is definitely not a hard mushroom to find and it's not specific on the weather or the time of day. All you got to do is just keep on walking about, looking for it, and uh, hopefully eventually you're going to get it. Next up, we got the Dry Dad Sada Mushroom. And similar with the Chicken of the Woods Mushroom, this one's going to be spawning in at the golf course area because it's spawning in on the same tree type. This one's going to have like a brownish color and some stripes on it. It's definitely going to be very easy to spot, but all you have to do is just walk about the golf course area until you're going to be able to find it, or just simply look for it at the range area. Alright, and the next mushroom is going to be the Lion's Mane Mushroom. And this one is a mushroom that kind of spawns in not that regularly. Uh, me personally, I found this mushroom once at the uh, Fisherman's Hut. And also, I always keep on finding one next to the Mushroom Hunter's Hut. Uh, this one is not going to keep on spawning every single time. But if you're looking at the guide, you are going to see that this mushroom usually spawns on the larger trees and not the normal ones. So uh, keep on looking around for it. Alright, next up we got the apricot jelly mushroom, and this one can only be found next to waters. And if you're looking at the guide, you're also gonna see two types of trees. One that can only be found at the golfing area, and another one that can be found everywhere. Which means you can actually find this mushroom, either at the racetrack, at the podiums of course, where there is a little bit of water, and also at the golfing area next to ponds. So uh, keep on looking in these two locations, and you're definitely gonna be able to find this one very fast. The Elfin Saddle Mushroom is going to be a mushroom that it's not going to be that easy to find. Me personally, as I kept on playing here and recording all these episodes for you guys, I only found one, and the way I found it was pretty random. By looking at the guide here, you are going to see a few elements including the wooden logs, which of course kind of tells us that this mushroom is going to be located at the sawmill. But me personally, although I kept on looking at the sawmill, I just couldn't find it. I'm pretty sure that it is going to spawn down there. But in my situation, as you guys are seeing in the video right now, I actually found this one on my way to the sawmill. Which was definitely unexpected, but there you have it. Alright, next up we have the honey mushroom. And this mushroom right here is going to be something you're going to find absolutely everywhere. Mostly in the campgrounds. So good luck with that. The shrimp mushroom is going to be the next mushroom you're going to be looking for and this one is going to have a specific location where you're going to spawn in. If you're looking at the guide, you're going to see a few elements, a few important elements, which are going to be of course the bushes and all the way to the bottom, you're going to see like a rocky beach area. Uh, me personally, I found these mushrooms only on the edges of the rivers. So uh, keep on looking at the edges of the river, mostly at the marina and on the right side of the marina. The blue chanterelle mushroom is going to be spawning absolutely everywhere. Uh, I found this one in the campgrounds, I found it at the golden fish area, and although this one is a 3 star mushroom, you are definitely going to find it quite a lot. So uh, keep on searching. 
All right, next up we got the Dusky Bolim Mushroom. And this one is one of the most difficult mushrooms to find. And the reason is because this mushroom is gonna only spawn in during the night time. Now, me personally, in order to find this one, I kind of thought about a specific strategy here. Although this mushroom is going to spawn in the campground area, uh, what I thought is that I wanted to start up my day in a different area, let's say maybe the marina. Keep on going about in the marina doing other stuff and looking for other mushrooms, but do not go to the campground just yet. And as soon as the nighttime arrived, that's when I made my way to the campground, just to try to activate the spawns. Although maybe the spawns just start showing up as soon as you wake up, it doesn't matter the day. But uh, this is the way I got it and uh, it definitely worked for me. Now with this one you're gonna have to be very patient. This one is gonna be a 5 star mushroom which means it's gonna be pretty rare. So uh, make sure you look for it every single night, keep on going about in the campgrounds and uh, eventually hopefully you are gonna find it. What I also suggest is that you also get yourself like a little bit of coffee just in case you're gonna get very sleepy and using the coffee you're gonna be able to stay up late a little bit longer. Next up we got a Hedgehog Mushroom and this one is a really spiky mushroom that's gonna be really easy to spot and this mushroom right here is gonna spawn in in quite a few places. Me personally I found it in the dirt race area, I found it also at the museum area and I also found it on the road as you go either to the museum area or the dirt race tracks. The blue mushroom is one of those mushrooms that's going to be conditioned by the weather. If it is raining, you are going to be able to find it and you are actually going to be able to find this one not only in the campgrounds but mostly anywhere if it is raining of course. So uh, keep on searching. The next mushroom is going to be a really interesting one. The Witch's Cauldron Mushroom is going to spawn in in quite a few places that you might not really expect. Uh, this one is going to be a 5 star mushroom and although this mushroom can also be found in the campgrounds, at the lake even, this mushroom is not going to pop up anytime. Now I've seen some crazy videos on YouTube, somebody just activated and made it Halloween again and then started looking for this mushroom and that's how they found it. Me personally, I didn't find it that way. Uh, I was really shocked when I actually found this mushroom during the rainy days because if you're looking at the mushroom guide, you're not seeing any rain, the weather seems to be perfect and I'm not quite sure exactly how I found it but uh, I actually found two mushrooms in the same day as it was raining as you guys are seeing right now in the video and I found one of them in the campground and one of them at the RV camp area. The Winter Chanterlin Mushroom is pretty straightforward. This mushroom is only gonna spawn in the winter area in the mountains. Me personally, I found this one as I was making my way toward the Snow Royale area. The Fairy Ring Mushroom as well is gonna be pretty easy to find. Although this one is a 3 star mushroom, I kinda of found quite a lot of them, especially in the campground area. In the guide, it's showing us that they usually spawn in next to bushes, and that's exactly where you're gonna be able to find them, spawning in absolutely everywhere. I do recommend going through the bushes as well whenever you see them, just because these mushrooms right here might actually spawn right inside them, and you're not gonna be able to see them. The Fly Agaric Mushroom. This one is a mushroom that's spawning in absolutely everywhere around the campground. Uh, you're gonna be able to see these very easily. The lobster mushrooms, these ones are going to be spawning in only on the island. Uh, it did take me quite a while until I found them, but uh, keep on resetting the day, keep on going to sleep, waking up, as soon as you wake up, keep on looking after them. It is quite easy to spot these ones because these ones are really similar to the chanterelle mushrooms. The only difference is that they are orange compared to the chanterelle that are yellow, but uh, these ones can only be found on the island area. Me personally, I found both of the mushrooms in the island here on the Ridge Ducks Island. Next up we got the Pine Mushroom and these ones are a 3 star mushroom. Me personally, I think I found these ones in the campground but also try to look for them in the deep forest as you're making your way toward the Mushroom Hunter because I definitely found these mushrooms on that side. Mostly these mushrooms are going to be spawning in in very dense forests. The Prince Mushroom is pretty easy to find and also by looking at the guide you are going to see a few elements here that are going to tell you exactly where you can find these. These mushrooms are going to be located in the racetrack area, but I also found these quite a bit in the campgrounds as well. The puffball mushrooms are going to be found absolutely everywhere. These ones can even be found in the campgrounds and even as you keep on driving about on the side of the roads, I keep on finding these ones everywhere. And ultimately, the porcini mushrooms can also be found absolutely everywhere in the campgrounds at the RV park. These ones are going to be very easy to find. All you gotta do is just keep on walking about and eventually you're going to spot them. Alright, there we have it guys. This has been a quick guide on how to find all the mushrooms in the game in the latest updates. 
And as I was saying, once you deliver all these mushrooms to this fella, he's not gonna only give you the dynamite to blow up the place and open up the place some more, but he's also gonna allow you to do some more stuff, which I'm gonna be talking about in the next video, guys. So uh, stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, like the video if you enjoyed it, dislike if you didn't, that's okay. And I'll see you all next one real soon. Bye, everybody.